Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you doing? I am Dara and I'm back again with another video on Azure. What am I talking about today? Today, I want to talk to you about scaling your web application in the cloud. What exactly is scaling? Scaling is the process of taking an application and increasing its capacity. There are two kinds of scaling in the cloud. There's scaling out, which is increasing the number of instances that your application server is running. And they're scaling up or down, which is you increasing the capacity of your machine. Now, let's actually go ahead and illustrate what that feels like. Right. So, I got my server here, somewhere in the cloud. Let's assume it can take about a thousand users every minute concurrently without stress. Now, I need to increase the capacity of this. What do I need to do? I can decide to scale out, which is basically mean increasing the number of servers that are running my application. And what happens at the background is that a load balancer is placed in front of my servers and then traffic is routed to each of the machine based on what algorithm the cloud service provider decides to use in Azure in this case. So the machine that is most least used will probably be the one to get the next request that comes in. And of course, if you connect it to any kind of database service, all of them speak to that database service. That is scaling out. If you want to scale in, it means that you are reducing the number of servers that you have. There's also the concept of scaling up or scaling down. What does that mean? That means that you are increasing. If you're scaling down, you're decreasing the capacity of your server. Now, let's actually show what this looks like in practice. I'll add an over into Azure over here where I have this web application that is running on the free plan. Well, free is good. No, free money, free running in the cloud. But I want to make this available to more users. So what I need to do is scroll down over to scale up. Now, to be able to scale out, I need to be on a particular service plan. You can watch some of my other videos on scaling, uh, on pricing plans and all that, and uh, creating your app services. But I need to first scale this up to something I can scale out from. I think you can scale out from B1 plan upwards. So if I click on scale up, it loads the page for me where it tells me what kind of service plan I want to upgrade to. Do I want to go to S1, P1 and all that? Of course. It comes with its own kind of pricing, but I will decide what that looks like when I'm looking at it. So it loads up the pricing plans for me. I can see there's the B1 option. So this lets me do custom domains. It has some Azure compute units, some memory improvements, then some storage, and I can scale out manually which is subject to availability. Now, if I want to have a bit of more fun, I go to the production environment and I see here, I can even do auto scaling. It means I can go to bed and know that when request comes in, I can scale out my application. No, for the purpose of this, I will actually use the S1 plan because it comes down to me showing you how you can also use deployment slots, which is coming up in another video. Now, I'll use the S1 plan, which means that I can auto scale up to 10 instances with this, I can put in custom domain, I can use staging slots, which we'll talk about later. There's also daily backup, there's traffic manager for my web application. So I'll select the S1 plan for this. Then what happens in the background is my app is moved to a machine that has higher capacity. All right. So while that is going on, Let's actually look at our current web application. This is what it looks like. I've set an environment variable called custom machine name. And that is what shows up here. 
So let's just note that in for future videos. Now let's check the progress of our upgrade. And I think we've been upgraded successfully now. That means I've successfully scaled up. Now let's check out scaling out. Scaling out means I can increase the number of instances. Now when you think of scaling, just think up or down increasing side by side increasing the number of instances that are running for your web application and this also applies to virtual machines actually but i i'm an app service guy i'm a app pass guy you know so i can do manual scaling and go up to 10 instances i can go to instances let me save this this manual scaling here But auto scaling is actually the nicest bit where I can scale my resources based on some metrics. What are metrics? Metrics are simply conditions, CPU utilization, memory utilization, storage utilization. Then based on that, I can say, okay, if CPU utilization is going above a particular threshold, scale out. If it's coming down, cool down period, scale back down or scale in based on that condition. Now, this is a manual scale operation that I'm performing right here, which I think should be complete now. So I have two instances of this running now. I go back to the overview page. And I get my application. It's still running, but now traffic will be routed between my different instances now you can see here that there are two instances of my application running compared to let me scale it back down to one and you see that this number will change from two to one so i'm going to scale this back down to one instance and save that wait for that process to complete Good. Go back to the view. And I should see that my application is now running on one instance successfully. Just waiting for that. And voila. One instance of my application is running now. Now that's just a little bit about scaling. There are more things you can do. Check out all the scaling. You can check out the Microsoft documentation on how you can do auto scaling based on metrics. It's actually super, super interesting. In the future, I will do videos on how you can perform auto scaling from the DevOps perspective. But till I come your way again with that video, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Till I come your way again with another video on Azure, stay safe and goodbye.